Just a reminder, you can get more information on our stories and others on our website, channelstv.com, youtube.com slash channelsweb has videos of our shows. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, is assuring everyone that lessons learned at the 2019 retreat for senior police officers will be put to use to enhance internal security. The police chief was speaking at the end of a three-day deliberation in Victoria Island, Lagos. The event, however, came to a close with the presentation of awards to some individuals and organizations for their support to the force. It's been days of interaction and learning of new policing techniques for these very senior officers across the country. The Inspector General of Police explains that the session has been a painstaking one and officers are more abreast with modern day policing strategies. There are areas that we brought members of the public, they spoke to us, they told us you are not doing well in so 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 areas. And in social so areas, you need improvement. And we've taken that on board, and we're going to work on that so as to improve for better performance. There were eight facilitators in all, touching on areas bordering on intelligence-led policing, crime data analysis, and community policing, among others. It was a more relaxed atmosphere than dinner to round up the three-day event where the Nigeria police recognized some individuals for their consistent support to the force. <laughs> of those honored include the governors of Lagos, Edo and Anambra. As well as the chairman, CEO of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, among others. Officers agree the retreat has been a successful one, with lessons learned on achieving a more efficient policing in the country. Nigerians will be hoping to see how these lessons will be put to use in the activities of the officers across the country. More news now from Ibrahim Adra in Abuja. Hi, Ibrahim. I am Arache. The story out of Kwara State is that the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has detained 16 local government chairmen in that state who were recently suspended by Governor Abdurrahman Abdurazak. The sacked council chairman allegedly misappropriated 4 billion naira loan and 10% of the state's internally generated revenue. The FCC said in a statement that the council chiefs, after securing the controversial loans, held a meeting and decided that 100 million naira of it 
they shared among themselves. According to the EFCC, the council bosses had on the 7th of February 2018 written to the Lorim branch manager of Sterling Bank, that is, requesting a four billion naira loan in order to pay the salary arrears of the State Universal Basic Education Board teachers, local government staff and local government pensioners, while the provisions for 100 million naira for council chairman were not appropriated in the request. The AFCC is also accusing them of diverting the monthly 10% of internally generated revenue for their personal use, which was paid directly into their personal accounts. Meanwhile, the acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Magu, says he is renewing his commitment to fighting corruption in Nigeria. Briefing journalist at the AFCC office in Abuja, Mr. Magu says the commission is intensifying its war against cybercrime and will rehabilitate internet fraudsters to make them functional members of the society. He is urging the media to join the fight against corruption by promoting anti-corruption narratives. He warned that sister agencies such as the police, NGOs in the Northeast and medical personnel who will give fake medical certificates to corrupt individuals will also be investigated. It's not a question of um, going after people who are flashikas, no, not really. Even if you are after flashikas, we will look at it, we will do some background investigation and establish that uh, this uh, proceed of ill cotton wells. I will also do some background checks and uh, see, monitor your financial activities and uh, some connections with the, with the internet fraud or the email uh, scam and, and uh, all, the, all that before we take a decision. I mentioned that, that to you, that how can we put it together and rehabilitate? Because these are small, small boys, university boys, who are still very young, Arca, uh, you know, and uh, I also mentioned the aspect of uh, 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 Moses of the Yahoo Yahoo Boys Association here. I remember I mentioned, I say I demanded for what strategies can we do to bring back these boys into society so that they can be better seasoned, they can be more useful to, to this country. Yes, so, so these are some of the emphasis on that. Uh, it's not like we are uh, pursuing them. Uh, yes, we pursue them, and that is why we also give them the chance to go for plea bargain. And we make sure that the plea bargain process are very, very transparent. And then just for them to get the chance to go back. But it's like uh, uh, they are not uh, abiding with, you, with this, with this, and, and uh, you are not helping us. Now we will extend our investigation to doctors who connive with criminals and give them fake yes. medical report. Yes. I think we have to go after them. Yes. Yes. They, they must meet up. Uh, completely false. There is a way they can even get false report from abroad, from the hospital. You know, in the hospital, you can just contact them. They will send you whatever you want. And uh, So I think we should also put them on the spot so that this practice of uh, giving fake medical report will must stop. In another development, the Nigerian Union of Pensioners is asking the federal government to review the monthly pension of their members and pay a national minimum pension of 30,000 naira. The demand is coming a few weeks after the federal government finalized the minimum wage consequential adjustment negotiations with Workers' Union. The president of the Nigeria Union of Pensioners says the last time pensions were reviewed was 10 years ago. Uh, some of his members still collect as low as 2,000 naira as their monthly pension. We are requesting for compliance with the stipulations in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended that pension will be reviewed every five years or when salary when salary salaries are reviewed, whichever comes earlier. And I've just mentioned that the salary pension Pensions were reviewed last in 2010 at the state level. There are pensioners receiving 2,000 per month to do what with 2,000? To buy tomato. When this exercise started, 
Labor requested for 65,000. No, we said, okay, fine. We'll request for 40,000 minimum. But with the dialogue and consultation and discussion of which we are a part, when labor settled for 30,000 minimum, we also said 30,000 minimum because whatever is good for the goods is good for the Ganda. Because we go to the same market, gentlemen, we do not have the clout, we don't have the power like workers going on strike or that kind of thing. But we can plead and we are pleading and calling the attention to their responsibility of obeying the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria.